Alright everybody, and welcome back to Fallout 4 yet again. So what we got going on is we track down where we think Kellogg may be. Uh, Dogmeat brought us here, and I've got Piper as my helper. I feel like I should have Nick with this. Nick with me for this. But uh, the main thing is, we got to where we think Kellogg is. We can't get in this way. And uh, I think what I'm actually going to do, now that I am here, is uh, go pop out and do some other quests quick. Uh, just to do some more side missions. Uh, I mean, I'm going to loot this place first, of course, but since I have... Uh, I believe I still have a full inventory. Yeah, since I've got a full inventory, I don't I don't want to head in there just yet. That thing. I just took a Jangles the Moon Monkey, and I don't know what he is, but I want that book as well, but it won't let me take a book. All right. I got that terrifying Jangles the Moon Monkey, so that means something. But what I want to do is I want to do a couple more side missions. I enjoy doing side missions and things of that nature, you know. It's Okay. Okay, got it. Good talk. Good talk. There's a turret over there, and it's uh, messing my day up. So what I'm going to do instead is just get the fuck out of here. And not deal with that. Oh, really? Something's out there, Piper. Really? Thank you. I never would have guessed. The thing that's shooting at me, there's something out there? Wow, damn. You really are good at your job, aren't you? There's a reason that people have you do the papers. My god. Okay, can I leave now? All I want to do is... Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is head up here and get rid of my junk. So let's head to Sanctuary. We've got nine people in Sanctuary now. we got our settlement growing. Ew, is that a synth? For the people of the Commonwealth, the idea of someone they know being replaced by an Institute synth is a very real threat. So that that looks a little... Is that Nick's prototype model? Because he said there's like three stages of synths? Or something like that? There's the, the one that we saw earlier with Dan's. And Listen to Valentine Detectives Agency Radio. This is Ellie Perkins from Valentine's Detective Agency, with a message for Nick's partner. We've got a new case and it sounds urgent. Stop by the office, I'll be waiting. Setting this to repeat. Oh, cool, I didn't know, is, is that new? I don't remember doing that. Like, ever. Oh man, I had like 90 pounds worth of junk, that's ridiculous. Do I have any other cool weapon to just throw out here, any big weapon? I don't think I have any big weapon that I feel like I want to keep. I got nothing. Any apparel that I want to keep? Nah. So where is all my... Where's all my weight then? I got like 50 pounds just chilling out. Is it... Is that just how much weight I have now? Because if so, I am not happy. I do not want to have that much weight on me. Uh, do we not do we not have a trader up here yet? No, we don't. Oh, wait a minute. All this walking's wear. Oh, you're lots. just Kate. I don't mean just a Kate. a bit different for you. Our scouts have found a promising spot for a new settlement. The trouble is that some kind of vicious beasts are lairing there. Once you clear it out, set up a radio beacon to let settlers know about it. Before you know it, we'll have a thriving new farm set up a instead beacon? of wasteland. We'll oh, starlight driving. Okay, no, never mind. I do remember this. I do remember this mission. Alright, I remember setting that place up as a fortress before. I didn't really do it well, but I remember setting that place up. Starlight Drive-In, I think, is the place I sunk most of my time into, other than Sanctuary, building up a place. But, um, that's not to say that I really did a good job at setting either one up. Why am I? No, I don't need to hold the button. I need to tap the button. Alright, so we dropped off all of our stuff. Yeah, I don't have any, like, other main weapons or anything to keep so now we're gonna head back to diamond city marketplace there we go perfect that's exactly what we need welcome to load screen city everybody uh that's kind of the main game that i play around here we just uh, do one thing in a spot pop over to another spot and there we go we all good to go smacked my mic i hope that didn't pick that up uh to cure addiction visit a doctor in any major settlement all right cool i didn't know that you could sit down with a doctor and they've got this magical thing to just stick in your leg that goes mm. You have no more addictions. That'd be pretty nice for a lot of people. That, that would help out quite a few people. Whose shit is that? Oh, I thought these were bot. 
Oh, I thought those were bodies, not just mannequins. Okay, it's one of those days. Hey. Piper, you say the word. What kind of shit do you got on you? Oh, you've got a bunch of outfits on you. That's right. Oh, you got a faded trench coat. Where are the drifter outfit? Oh, but you don't look as nice. It's the main reason I like you to wear your own stuff. is because, you know, you look nice. Um, I'll take the fedora, the undershirt and jeans, the shotguns, the hide outfits, the pipe pistol, metal pieces, leather knuckles, that. Flannel shirt and jeans ain't gonna do nothing for it. It's the faded trench coat. I think I'm gonna have to have her wear the... Well, it does make her stand out, though. That's the thing. Can I make them get into power armor? Wait a minute. Can I make them get into power armor if I have multiple sets? Because I know I can buy multiple frames. I did see that. That's something to look into. Does the jumpsuit really do more than her trench coat? Yeah. It really does more than the trench coat. So I'm... We're gonna keep her with the trench coat for now... Take the drifter outfit, keep the tux, keep the lab coat, because we're going to put stuff on them. Hey, Piper, how you doing? Look, you're blue, just like me. Can I? Just something you need. Now, what's your, your thoughts? thoughts? Doing the right thing rarely makes you popular. That's all for now. Okay. Okay. Which is funny, because you really love when I lockpick things. Which is interesting Everything to me, but that's I fine. Got will keep you safe. All right, Arturo. Let sure. us see. We're going to barter a, look. a little bit. Don't forget to stock up on ammo. I do need to stock up on ammo, actually. Thank you for reminding me. I'm going to give you some knuckles. I'm going to sell you three Molotov cocktails. Hardened pistol. Oh, that's right. I have an auto pistol, don't I? I have a... Compensated, calibrated, powerful 10 millimeter pistol. No, it's just a 10 millimeter pistol. It's not an auto. No, it is, because its fire rate is 43. Damn it. Alright, so... No, that's an auto pistol. Oh, that's the auto pistol. This is the one I... Yeah, okay, got it. Makes more sense, makes more sense. Ignore me. Uh, sell the automatic pipe rifle. Keep the frag grenades, though. And now time to sell all of this. Drifter outfit for a trench coat. 300? Yeah, that's fine. All right, let's go down through this one fedora. Still got a jumpsuit on underneath all my shit. That's fine. Oh, yeah, all this useless aid. I, I, I don't want to call it useless, but it's aid that has rads. And you know what I don't want? Rads or brain fungus. Actually, I don't want brain fungus. That doesn't sound like a fun time. I don't think anybody should ever want brain fungus. Um, It's kind of like cordyceps or whatever it's called. The uh, That virus that kind of takes over your brain. It's what uh, what's it's what's in the uh, the Last of Us too? You know that other, <clears throat> that other thing I'm doing. Yeah, cool. Um, so then mole rat meat. I don't want. Oh nope, mole rat meat. I don't want any of that. Mongrel dog meat. I don't want any of that. Mutt fruit. I can do stuff with the nukas, so I'm gonna keep those. Um, orange mentats, pork and beans, potato crisps. That's a lot of psycho. Um, road rash meat, rad stag meat, razor grain. Keep a stealth boy. Which is odd, because I think it's technically a drug? Like, you can get addicted to hold- nope, keep those. You can get addicted to Stealth Boy, I think. Which really confuses me, but that's just something else that we're gonna have to deal with. Let me see. Old Faithful, that's still 1300 And it does sell, so I'm not gonna take that. Uh, does we have any other- no, he doesn't have any. But he does have some nice armor going on. Um, hmm. Let me see. What else? Uh, power armor frame's not bad. But what I really need is fusion cores. Just one? Yeah, that's that's 300. I'm going to take fusion cell for the rest, for the other 50. Uh, just because I need a lot of those. I don't use nearly enough of that. Or rather, I use too much of it. And for the rest of it that I don't use, I just get afraid that I'm going to use too much of it. So yes, confirm the trade. Hit the right button this time. Don't be caught dead. And we're going to move <laughs> on. From All right, Piper, you ready? Oh, great, radiation storm. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go over here. I'm going to get my radiation cured. Radiation poisoning is a common ailment, but we can cure just about anything. All right, you know what I got to say to that? Cure me. Yeah. Take a look at me, Doc. Tell me your symptoms. Uh, I have... Cure my rats. Feeling sick. 
I think it's radiation. Blood pooling in the gums. Signs of anemia. Yeah. We better clean you up. All right. Is that is that it? Oh, there's a cutscene for it. I was wondering why he was just staring at me. Now, was there anything else bothering you? Uh, yes, there was, son. Uh, cure my health, please. Got roughed up. Uh, you look fine, but oh, wait. Yeah, that's gonna need to be set back in place. Let's get started. Gonna have to set some of my stuff back in place. That's fine. I'll survive. All done. Any other complaints? Um, yes. Uh, your bedside manner was lacking, was but otherwise you were very effective. In the future, okay? Never mind. Your bedside manner is pretty nice. All right, you picked it up in the end, Dr. Sun. Before I get hit with radiation out there, I'm just going to fast travel. So I hope... Oh, actually, we're going to pick a quest to do. Uh, find a way into Fort Hagen. We're not going to do that one yet. What we are going to do is talk with Kent Connolly. He's the Silver Shroud guy. Uh, let's... Let's actually go get um, the flux sensor at Zephyr Ridge Camp. Is this the mission for Dan's? Is this the one for Dan's? Because didn't they want me to go out in the middle of nowhere to get this thing? That's not even that bad, actually. If that's if that's all it is at Zephyr Ridge Camp. Or is it not showing me where it actually is? I'm I am confusion. If somebody somebody could help me out with that. So I guess we're not gonna do that one. I thought there was I could have sworn there was something for for Dan's. Yeah, support the team. But like Yeah, support the team. Is there anything on the map to express this? Yes. Oh, did I not talk to Dan's? I thought Dan's gave me a mission. Did I not get the mission from Dan's? Am I losing my mind? Do I know what is what? No, I don't. Shit. Oh, I'm gonna take this lovely time to, uh, in combat, the police model to protect Tron relies on strong melee attacks and a painful electric shock. That sounds like it sucks, but while we ruminate on that, I'm gonna get some water. Remember to stay hydrated, folks. All right. Well, you know what the best part about going from a loading screen is? We get another loading screen right after it. Perfect. Look at that. And you know what time for that is? Not a fact. So, some more water. This is for all you out there that are, you know, constantly worried because all I do is talk and I never shut up that, um, you know, maybe I should uh, drink some water. Keep my throat... We still Fine. have so much to learn about Okay, so that's not working. So do I have to do Dance. something else? You're a Brotherhood initiate now. Feel free to take whatever supplies you need for your assignments. I'm busy right now, initiate. Okay, Perhaps good we'll talk. Later. So does this mean that she has another mission for Scribe me? Scribe Halen. You still here? I'm pretty certain I gave you a mission. Oh, she's the somebody. one who gave me the mission. Oh, maybe Dan's didn't give me a mission. He just told me what they were doing here, which was to find their old recon team. Wow, alright, I really know what's going on in this game. Oh my god, I'm really glad y'all have been, what is this, 10 minutes in? Yeah, I'm really, I'm glad that y'all appreciate the 10 minute in, just random, absolute nothing that got accomplished this time. So what we're gonna do this time is let's go, let's go get the baseball guy's stuff. Let's, let's go get the stuff for the baseball guy. Ooh, there's Vault 81. Alright, yeah, let's go get it, let's go to Hardware Town, let's go get the Vault set. I can't fast travel from here. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to throw myself out with another loading screen. It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Isn't all of this loading and fast traveling? See, a smarter man would edit it out of the video so that there would be more content. However, um, I'm lazy and it's continuity for my sake. I like it where there is not really too many cuts. Um, if it, and if there is a cut, it's because it was needed because I was lost for half an hour. I like to... Ha I don't know. Just the content that I've always appreciated that I think would be easiest for me to do, um, at least to get my footing with all of this, is to do the long form, kind of like this. Um, in the sense of just record, record, record. And don't really do too much editing to it. Obviously, edit if you think there's a funny quip here or a funny quip there that you think would 
help it out or would, you know, cut something out that was so dumb or you were lost for 20 minutes or something like that. But I think overall, I just, I don't know. I always like the stuff that you can have on in the background. You don't need to be paying, like, 100% of attention to. Like, like, I don't view my stuff as something that somebody's going to sit here and watch, like, the whole way through and critique. What the? What are they talking about? Yeah, I don't look at my stuff as something that somebody's going to sit down and watch the whole thing through, like, beginning to end, not focusing on anything else. Because of how much stuff that I put out, that's a lot of time to dedicate. Um. Hmm. Where are these guys? Alright, well, we found him. Oh, I got him. Damn. I missed the other one. I got him. I just think it's... I just like it. Like, you know, once I get into more editing and things of that nature, welcome to segways being interrupted by other segways. Um, I think I'll probably do more editing. Uh, once I get good enough internet, I'd like to pick up streaming, but my internet right now is pretty not too great so it would be like 360 as opposed to me being able to upload in 1080 i can upload right now um so the vods wouldn't even be that good to keep and pour it over what i'd like to get into as i said is that streaming aspect and then make like a best of compilation and throw it onto the channel or something like that or even just do daily uploads of highlights that people like from the other things i don't know i don't really know what my end game is mostly just to have a whole lot of fun with it and enjoy it, but if people show out and they actually enjoy what I do, well, you know, all the better. This is mostly just to... Oh, I started it. Well, actually, I started this way back in... <laughs> 2016? A long time ago, doing nothing good at all. And this is kind of just... Hello? Oh, I wonder what killed these guys. Or did I blow through here already? The Massachusetts Turnpike. Cool. Um... Yeah, I started years ago, but it was like three episodes of a game, and it was terrible. That's gone. That's deleted. That channel's down. I only used it for that, but now I restarted, you know, around COVID, a little bit before the big COVID hit. The big COVID hit, the big COVID shutdown, the things of that nature, I believe, and it's just something that it's been fun to keep up with. I was doing daily uploads, uh, but due to COVID and all of that fun stuff, you know, it hit... You know, it didn't happen with daily uploads. I missed a couple days. Overall, I think I did pretty good with it. I'm out of stamina. Overall, I did pretty good, but, you know. There was a... I swear there was a point to what I was saying. Yeah, yeah, if this ever does become, you know... it's Obviously, it's not really ever going to become more than a hobby, unfortunately, just due to the quality of the content that I put out. Uh, not that I'm ashamed of the content quality. It's just I know it's going to... It would take a lot of time that I don't necessarily have right now to invest into it to make it something bigger. Uh, which would be fun, as I said, but my style is more suited for fuck Meyer Lurks. My style is more suited for streaming. Shit. That's double damage? Oh, that's bullshit, and you know it. All right, you know what this does? No miler, no miler, no. I do not like miler at all. Okay, buddy, no, please don't. Why do you have so much health? No, don't hit me. No, you have great you have radiation too. Yeah, all right, maybe cells don't do a lot to these guys. Oh my God, there's hatchlings? Are those new or am I just an idiot? I mean, I know I'm an idiot, but that's ridiculous. Alright, boys. Did they just scream at me? Alright, good talk, good talk. Fun times, fun times. I hope there's not more mine. More- <laughs> Well, shit. Oh, it's a soft shell, though. I shouldn't be that bad. Yeah, there he goes. Alright, this pistol does work. Alright, I like this pistol. Yeah, having a blast with it. Anyway, back to that. The unstoppables. Ooh, 1% chance of just avoiding all... Something popped up behind me, didn't it? Oh, no, that was just... That was just Piper scaring the shit out of me. Okay. Um, take the metal bucket, because why not? 
having a blast with it, having fun, you know, enjoying what I do. A couple people have said they enjoy what I do, so, you know, that's enough to keep me going. Even though the main purpose is just having fun, if I can bring enjoyment to somebody while I do it, all the better. That's pretty much what I was trying to say, and because I'm an idiot, it took me about 20 hours to say. So for the few of you out there that actually watch and actually enjoy, well, whether or not you enjoy it, I hope you enjoy it, but you've actually spoken to me about it and said, hey, it's not that bad, like, I appreciate you. It's very nice, very nice. Uh, so we still have one more thing to get. Oh, she's chilling over here. There's gonna be something in here. Oh, there's gonna be nothing in here. All right, was that, is that, is that, is that literally it? The hardest thing about this place was that it had mire lurks, and I hate mire lurks just because their shell is garbage. Oh, now there's an enemy? Oh, it's another, it's, a, it's another soft shell. Why do I feel like another soft shell? Yeah, if you could stop hitting me, actually, though, I would appreciate it. That'd be nice. Nope, nope. Okay, I need to do something to run faster. How do I run faster? Is that my agility? I'm gonna, I'm gonna upgrade that next. Hmm. Alright. So for that one, we did that. So we're going to do something a little bit different. I don't think I'm going to turn that one in right away. Where's the chem lab? No, not the chem lab. Ken. Oh, yeah, where's Ken? Isn't he a good neighbor? Yeah, he is. All right, so we're going to go discover good neighbor just to give you guys an extra couple minutes uh, for this episode since uh, the first 10 were pretty much me doing absolutely fucking nothing. Uh, charisma is your ability to charm and convince others. It affects your success to persuade and da- Excuse me? It affects your success to persuade in dialogue and prices when you bar barter. Excuse me, um, English, if you would like to clock back in for your schedule, we're currently doing commentary. I would appreciate it if you would stay in for your assigned shift. I need you to make sure I speak correctly. Um, across the Commonwealth, some of the fiercest raider leaders have scavenged old suits of power armor and restored them to full working order. See, that may be because I already said that, but thank you, English, for coming back in and doing your job so I can speak. I very much appreciate it. It's a lot nicer when you do that. It just... You know, it sucks when you're gone, because I just, I stumble. I stumble a lot. Uh, so we're going to head this way, head over to Good Neighbor. Uh, we're going to discover Good Neighbor, ignore the burying ground. Wait, what? Good Neighbor. Hello, Good Neighbor. Uh, okay, that actually sounds like some not-so-good things. Good Neighbor. I can't get in from there. How do I get into Good Neighbor? How do I get into Good Neighbor? Um... Hi, Piper. Yes, kill the ones that are behind me, too. How the fuck do I get into Good Neighbor? What's that? Uh, it's absolutely nothing. Don't mind me. Nope, nothing's here. Here we go. Good Neighbor. Oh, shit. You've got arrows everywhere. You're telling me to go this way? Yeah, I can do that. I can do that. All right. Welcome to Good Neighbor, folks. Perfect. Well, muzzle brakes and compensators help reduce the recoil on automatic weapons. What the hell was I talking about? I don't know what I was talking about anymore. I ramble quite a bit. But yeah, I'm going to run this episode just a little bit longer, like about a half an hour. Not half an hour longer. About a half an hour just to compensate for the beginning. I'm going to discover Good Neighbor. And we're going to see what's going on. Hold in up there. Hi, Finn. First time in Good Neighbor? You can't go walking around without insurance. Without insurance? Sarcastic. Unless it's keep dumb assholes away from me, insurance. Oh, I'm not interested. Damn. Now don't be like that. I think you're gonna like what I have on offer. Piper Hand admires over everything me. you got in their pockets, or accidents start happening to you. Big Ooh, let me put him in his place. Accident. Let me put him in his place. Someone steps through the gate the first time, they're a guest. You lay off that extortion crap. What do you care? He ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn. I said, let him go. You soft Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day. I love Hancock. Man. He's got like Come the best on, outfit man. in the game. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. Oh, why'd you have to go and say that, huh? Breaking my heart over here. You all right, brother? <laughs> yes. I'm fine. Thanks for taking care of him. Good. Now, don't let this incident taint your view of our little community. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. 
All right. I feel yeah. you. I feel you. Good. You stay cool, and you'll be part of the neighborhood. So I like you, Hancock. You remember who's in charge. That's the thing I like about Hancock. You sure He's... to find your fair share of trouble, don't you? Uh. Yeah, I suppose, I suppose so. so. Hey, I'm not one to judge. Honestly, it's just nice to not be doing it alone for a change. <laughs> In my line of work, things tend to get pretty hairy. I've been shot at, poisoned, nearly executed. Damn. Heck, until Me recently, too. They called the lock up in Diamond is that a heart City monitor? Or is Anything that... Anything for a story, I suppose. What is that? Uh, execution didn't take. Uh, exciting You've life. An exciting life. Sure have. But honestly, now that I'm out here with you, I feel like I'm just getting started. Get in trouble. It's what folks like us do. Aw, babe. And you and I are out here putting ourselves at risk so people in the Commonwealth can have a chance. Your hat doesn't match your life. outfit. Not for praise or reward or glory, but because it's right. I, I just wanted to let you know. I'm real happy to be along. Oh, you were along for a little bit more than the ride, Piper. Whoop! Flirt. I wouldn't want it any other way. I like having you close. Oh, uh, thanks, Blue. That's that's awfully. <laughs> that's how I react whenever anybody fucks with me. They even animated her face to pretty much say, "What the fuck?" Hey. You look like you could use a pick me up. Oh, you gave me a Nuka Cola. Thanks, babe. Your thoughts? So, what's right your thoughts? You. What's our Is relationship? Okay between us? Not a lot of complaints at the moment, and. You can ask around. That is a rare occurrence. Your so what are your thoughts? Anything I can do? You just say the word. I just wanted to check in. Make sure, make sure things are all right. right. I don't know why I do this a couple well, times a piece. I gotta say, I like the way you've been handling yourself out here. Commonwealth's not an easy place to do the right thing. But somehow you manage. Yeah, what, is anything else? Okay anything new you gotta say? Well, it's awful nice to be traveling with someone who's got their head on straight. So, I'd say I'm good. I was just Anything wondering else? where you and I stand. Things are pretty good from where I'm standing. All right, that's so long still. As we're helping people out here. I'm all in. That's a new one. You have anything else to new in. to say? Make sure things were all right between us. You got nothing to worry about. We're good, Blue. And what do you say we get back to making trouble? So would she call me Blue if I didn't wear my vault? I just wanted my to vault check thing? in. Make sure. Not a lot of complaints at the moment. And all right, you well, good talk. Let's just pop in and see what you have to say about our uh, thoughts. thoughts. Any I like other my thoughts? Pistols like I like my company. High caliber. I'm talking about you, Blue. Aw, oh, babe. Your thoughts? Hmm. I'm blushing. Nice to see there are still some folks with sense in the Commonwealth. Your thoughts? If Anything else? story here, we'll find it. Okay, good Your talk. Thoughts? Any other nice. thoughts you have you know for me? Move again. All right, That cool. was all I had. Sure. Love you, Piper. Well, anyway, thank you all for joining me for the next episode of Fallout 4. It was a fun time. Uh, Finn got shot. I wonder if there was a way for me to take care of him and then, you know, Hancock would respect me more. That persuasion thing I had. That just seemed like an asshole thing. Right out the gate. He would have been like, hey, man. He could have been a nice guy. Like, for all I knew at the time, he could have been like, hey, man, you need protection or else, you know, bad shit's going to happen. And I would have been like, well, fuck off. And he would have been like, well, hey, I was the good guy here and I was just trying to let you know that uh, there's some bad people in this town. They're right over my shoulder and they're going to fuck you up now that they know I'm not protecting you. And then you would have been like, oh, no. And I don't know why I fabricated that story for this man. He was obviously not a nice man. But uh, we're operating on the assumption that I didn't know that in the beginning. So Finn's dead. I flirted with Piper. I don't know if that's going to go any further, if that can go any further. Uh, but her face was funny. Anyway, see you guys in the next episode of uh, my Fallout 4 playthrough.